Welcome back guys to the channel. For this video, we will be doing a retro look. Uh, no, not a retro look, but a look at retro toys. Uh, these are the Brightest Day uh, Hawk and Love from DC Direct. I, th I guess they're from DC Direct if I'm not mistaken. Searching right now while I am talking to you guys. Hawk and Dove. If you are not familiar with both of the figures, and you might be thinking, I thought you were only uh, collecting X Men stuff, uh, Transformer stuff, and you and then you said you were collecting Mighty Morphin, Power Ranger stuff, then GI Joe. Um, I am actually collecting. Um, figures that were um, what is the word uh, not familiar um, sorry about this I should really write my script I have received comments about that that I should write scripts before I do videos um, recognize okay figures that are recognized with Rob Liefeld, and everybody knows, or most of those who follow Rob Liefeld knows, um, Rob Liefeld uh, started his professional career as um, the penciler for Hawk and Dove, okay? And I believe he is also the one who uh, designed the look of the female Dove. If you are not familiar, the original Hawk and Dove, Dove was also a guy, uh, partner of uh, Hawk here um, a bit of trivia with Hawk and Dove uh, Hawk and Dove um, are a fictional superhero team that appeared in DC Comics uh, they were created by Steve Ditko Steve Skeets, the Dick Giordano, and Carmine Infantino. There's a lot of creators for this guys. Um, they debuted in they debuted, sorry, debuted <laughs> in showcase number seventy five during the Silver Age of comics. The duo has existed in multiple incarnations over the years across several eponymous ongoing series and miniseries and has also appeared in a number of recurring roles and guest appearances in titles such as Teen Titans, Birds of Prey, and uh, Brightest Day. This is actually from the Brightest Day series, this actual two figures. I bought this secondhand. Carousel is a great app. Um, if you're looking for stuff and toys that, you, that are no longer available in shops, there might be a collector or someone who bought them off a whim, and they're selling them now like these two figures i actually was about to order hawk and dove from amazon for an insane amount of money and i found it on carousel which i guess was uh serendipitous for me <laughs> so like i said um i bought this because this was uh recognizable as one of um Rob Liefeld's work. Uh, he did the book by uh, Carl Kissel and Barbara Kissel. Reintroduced the duo. Blah, blah, blah. Um, they were also part of uh, when DC relaunches DC 52, they tapped Rob Liefeld again to do the series. Uh, I think I have that trade somewhere here. I should have brought it out for this video, but sorry, I did not. So enough about all that. Um, these are actually, if you watch the Titans series, um, they're also a prominent part of that. Of that. And yeah. So they are like uh, spirits of something. Um... Christ, this is blah 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 blah. Picture available. 
Um, now let's look at the figure. This is from DC Direct. I'm not sure. Um, DC Direct. Yes, yes, these are from DC Direct, um, part of Yum Brightus, they set nila. Um, I actually saw them in stores when they were being sold before. I wasn't really interested back then, but um, since I've unearthed most of my Rob Liefeld related stuff, uh, which are yung, uh, Youngblood from Todd McFarlane Toys, McFarlane, actually it was called Todd Toys before, now McFarlane Toys, um, and the Marvel Legends um, X-Force stuff. Um, I thought it would be awesome if I also have uh, representations of the figures that uh, Rob made famous or uh, was known to have worked with. So um, the most prominent of that would be this two, Hawk and Dove. So, um, and the DC Direct Brightest Day one was, I think, the most recent one that was released. So yeah, that's that's the rationale of why I bought these two. They're a bit of stiff figures. Um, I would have wanted Hawk to be a lot bigger, the sculpt to be a lot, mm, a lot bulkier. Um, he's a bit slim and uh, they actually are articulated but they're articulated in such a way that um, they're not really um, that poseable so their arms do um, you can raise them sideways and it does allow for a full rotation full rotation but um, of course their cape are in the way uh, they have elbow bends and they even do have uh, bicep swivels um, and um, you can rotate their wrist but they're posed in such a way that it's so stiff looking so the most natural look for them to be displayed is um, standing straight like that um, it doesn't help that their uh, hip area uh, only have that uh, forward motion um, they do not have uh, thigh swivels they do have a knee bend which is limited as you can see and they do have a boot cut swivel so you have that going on for them um, but like I said, it's the toy is designed in such a way that it only looks good if they are standing up. And actually, if you move it quite a bit, uh, you'll mess up their balance and they won't stand up. Um, the same with Hawk. Hawk. <laughs> Hawk has that grimace, which is a actually a Rob Liefeld uh, staple, a trope of his art. The, most of his uh, characters are grimacing like that. Uh, Hawk is known to be the hot-tempered one in the group and Dove is of course the more level-headed one of, of them. So Hawk here has a cape but I guess uh, due to storage I guess this has warped a bit so it's more forward. So it's a bit more forward than the other one. I am scared to push it back a bit. Maybe I'll do the hair hair dryer technique. But as of now, the plastic on those on this cape feels a lot brittle. Feels very brit brittle actually. So if um, sinabukan ko siyang idiretsuin by hand I feel like that it would break so I'm not moving that uh, like si Dove meron din siyang uh, pwede mong erase yung kanyang kamay sideways like so uh, meron din siyang 
bicep swivel, at saka knee bend. Uh, yung kamay niya, hindi katulad nung kay Dove na naka-straight na ganyan. Medyo parang mga ngalmot. So, yan. Uh, wala silang waist swivel, which is uh, kind of sad. Pero, masaya ako na, oops, sorry about that. Kick the camera. Masaya ako, I'm happy that I finally got them. So, I can display them with the rest of my Rob Liefeld characters. Hopefully, we'll get more Rob Liefeld related figures. Um, still hoping to have new young blood stuff for him to have the young blood uh, license back. But if not, um, there are still a lot of other uh, properties that um, toy companies can play with, like uh, Glory or the um, Profit Brigade. Actually, Brigade is also nice substitute for young blood and blood strike yeah so hopefully those get figures um i'm quite sure there are a lot of rob liefeld fans maybe some are closeted rob liefeld fans but uh the guy is pure passion for comics and what he does so it's just contagious okay uh, i know a lot of other t- people think he's a douchebag or he's an asshole um I would I would uh, point you towards his podcast but of course it's human nature to have your own biases and if you already made up your mind about something it's very hard to change your mind about stuff so I'll continue doing what I want to do so you continue to do it I kind of feel bummed because most of the time when I speak about Rob Liefeld I get um, people would jump on my thread and say that he's like the worst artist who ever lived. Sometimes even the worst person who ever lived, like they know him personally. (laughs) So I don't know why all the hate. Uh, The guy is successful at what he does. Maybe you think you're, you're more entitled to that success. Or maybe you think your idol is more entitled to that success but um i give kudos to those who hustle and grind as long as they're not cheating anyone as long as they're not stepping on anyone and i don't believe rob stepped on anyone Uh, not to my knowledge but yeah that's it uh i just like i i I just like like to share with you uh two acquisitions from my collection of Rob Liefeld related uh, figures, Hawk and Dove. Um, I could repaint actually Dove here to be more of like the new 52 one that Rob did, but yeah, maybe for another day. So thank you guys for watching. I took up too much of your time for, with my ooms and uh and something that. Sorry about that. Uh, I really should write some notes before. I do videos and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, suggestions, and questions down below. Subscribe to the channel and if you do subscribe, please do click on that notification bell so that you know when I'll be uploading other stuff soon. Alright, thank you guys. This is Hawk and Dove again. Uh, See you at the next video.